If you're like me, you might be curious how Word for the iPad is saving your files. You're probably used to going to the File menu and clicking Save on your Mac or your PC. But on the iPad, it's different. You don't have to do that. By default, Word will automatically save your file. We call this Autosave. And you can see that Autosave is on when this button has two arrows. You can also see it's on when you tap this button. With Autosave on, Word saves frequently for you, so you don't have to worry about it. If you want a familiar method of saving on your own terms, you can turn Autosave off. Notice that when Autosave's off, the arrows go away. So tap the button and then tap Save when it's off. And if you happen to forget that Autosave is off, no worries. If you close the file by tapping this arrow, you'll be asked to save your changes. One last note about saving. People often ask, where save as? It's called duplicate on the iPad. Tap duplicate. Choose if you want to keep the changes in the duplicate file or in both the duplicate and the original. And then save the copy of the file to a location of your choice.